Good afternoon, Pinecrest family. I think I finally got this whole video, this live video thing figured out. I'm coming to you live from the church here on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I want to start off by telling you happy Thanksgiving. And I am so thankful for this past week, everything that, that you all have done really in the past couple of weeks, uh, from Operation Christmas Child and your generosity there, our kids doing over 136 boxes. I don't yet know, have the full count for how many boxes we collected total as a church, but we'll find out uh, that number on Sunday. But I do know for our food pantry, you all gave over $2,000 and we and helped um, create over 23 boxes, Thanksgiving, not boxes, Thanksgiving meals for this Thursday that are being delivered today. So thank you so much for that. And again, I hope your family has a great Thanksgiving uh, as we draw closer to that coming up here on Thursday. What this video really is all about, though, is about the things we talked about on Sunday, how we are preparing for battle. We are in a battle, and I hope you're putting on the armor of God today and over the course of this week that you're fighting the right fight. And this Sunday, we're continuing in that thought as we learn how to engage in battle, not just prepare for it, not just putting on God's armor, although that's very important, that's the very first step. But how do we actually engage in that battle? The way we do that is through prayer. And we're going to be talking about and actually doing that this upcoming Sunday. But I want to make sure you put on your calendars for Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. We're going to have a prayer night right here at the church for one hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Friday, December 1st. And I want to challenge you all to be here. Bring your families. We're going to have some guided prayer time together as we engage in this battle together. And then after that prayer night, we're going to begin 36 hours of prayer. Now, we've done that in different ways here before. We've had people actually come to the church for 24 hours of consistent prayer. We're going to do this a little bit differently this time. We're going to have 36 hours of prayer. So beginning from the end of our prayer night on December 1st to the beginning of our first service uh, on Sunday, December 3rd, via Facebook, we're going to be every hour challenging you to a different prayer type, a different prayer topic uh, via Facebook. So if you're not a Facebook and if you're watching now or you're watching... Uh, this after the fact. Uh, make sure that you share with your friends and family that we have this coming up. Uh, 36 hours of prayer. So all told, we're going to be leading into that that last um, the last week uh, or the last session in our Ephesians series, having prayed together for a total of 37 hours. And I'm so excited to see what God does as a result of that. Again, I want to thank you for being such a great church family for myself and for the staff here at the church, for the elders. Uh, it, it, I, I cannot even imagine being the pastor of a, of a better church or another church. So thank you again for everything that you do for God, for your generosity, for your faithfulness. And I, and I am just praying that you have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic Thanksgiving holiday. Be safe as you're driving and as others are coming into town. Uh, again, just know that we are praying for you and looking forward to seeing you this Sunday as we all learn to engage in the battle. God bless.